Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here again in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to another <laughs> episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo woo! Oh, the Rosewood Telly is still in the building. I took 45 phone calls today about the Rosewood Telly. Damn. I answered a whole bunch of emails. It's a lot of people thinking on that guitar. If you want to think about it, think now. And then call me with credit card details because it's not going to be here long. <laughs> And, um, you know, it's a cool guitar, man. It's pretty. It's a really pretty guitar. Um, let's see what else today. Happy birthday. Happy 26th birthday. Kelly Kinder. Ooh. Or Kinder. Kelly Kinder. <laughs> Happy so birthday. Old. 26? She's so old. I know, a little youngster. Uh, I was talking to her mom today. She <laughs> says she thinks she's old. 26 ain't old, sweetheart, believe me. You got a long way to go still before you start to look this good. I mean, that's, that's only comes with age. Also, uh, today marks the, uh, what is it, 16 years since we lost George Harrison, mm. which is exactly why I did that Rosewood Telly yesterday. Just kind of worked out that <laughs> way. But uh, still missing George. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, one of Norm's very first customers, one of the first celebrity customers, and uh, kind of snowballed from there. But uh, yeah, Norm's got some good George Harrison stories. Buy his book, I think they're all Okay, we gotta talk. I had a whole thing planned for today. It's Wednesday. We weird normally do Wednesday. E weird ass Wednesday or ES Wednesdays. I had a bitching casino lined up for you guys. And then this walked in. It's another telly. I know we just did a telly. But I can't wait till Tuesday, because it won't be it won't be here. Come Tuesday. This thing's <laughs> gonna go really quick. So it's freaking telly Wednesday. <laughs> Deal with it. We're doing a telly. It's black card. It's red. Come on back. It's from 1952. This is an original Fender black guard Telecaster. Butterscotch blonde finish. Single ply Bakelite black pick guard. Flat pole piece. Bridge pickup. Maple neck. Wow. Oh man. Damn. That's I gorgeous. just went from six to midnight. <laughs> I've been playing this guitar literally for like the last four hours nonstop. Um, everyone knows I love a Les Paul Jr., but my heart really lies on the Blackguard Tellies. <sighs> so rad. Um, so let's talk about it. This one we actually sold a while ago. We just got it back today um, from a pro player here in LA that has had it out and has used it and all that kind of stuff. It does still have the original thermometer case, which is quite valuable in itself. It's falling apart a little bit, but it's all there and the handle and latches work, but you know. Um, this guitar has had a couple small things done to it. But let's talk black guards, because we start with the broadcasters. Everyone knows this. We go into the no casters in 51. 52, it gets renamed the Telecaster, and this is the first official year. Fender's been reissuing this guitar since 1982. It's the classic. And what we got here, we got an ash body. Maple neck, of course. Flat pole piece pickup. This is a big deal. Me likey the flat poles. So this is the earliest version. You'll see this in some of the Fender lap steels as well. But from broadcaster through 54 telly, you're going to see this. You will see this. A few of these were left over. You will see in some 55 white guards as well. But this is really kind of the black guard pickup. And when you think that quintessential, when you, when you think of a Telecaster and you listen in your head to what you think a Telecaster sounds like, that's... That pickup right there is what you're thinking of in your head. That is twang central. Now, like I said, uh, a couple things were done to it. This is not major, major stuff or things that can't be undone. Um, the pots and the switch were changed out um, as well as the input jack. Basically just a whole new wiring harness went in here. It's not a big deal because right here in the case are the original pots, the jack and the switch. So you could always put it back to stock if you want. And then the other modification that was done, uh, which I love and I would do too is uh, dark circuit was removed from the neck pickup. So normally in this position you can find it sounds like this or absolutely no top end comes through. The cap has been taken off and now you can actually hear that pickup. And it was the same thing happened in that 56 telly we did a couple weeks back on Telly Tuesday. Um, maple neck, look at all the patina on the board there. Wow. You can fake that, but it doesn't look as good as the real thing, I'm telling you. It even has the quintessential cigarette burn on the headstock, which <laughs> is impressive because on a Telecaster, there's a little more space here than a Strat. Back when I used to smoke, I, I, it was always hard to get the cigarette burn on the Telecasters. 
I did it. Don't worry. I got it on there eventually. But, <laughs> but yeah, condition for one of these, pretty fantastic. A little bit of edge wear going around the sides, but it's all there. You know, minty examples of these are really hard to find. This was kind of the first solid body guitar. The guys that bought them played them, man. There's not a lot of under the bed versions of these. This is the tool that the guys of the day needed a solid body guitar. They went out and bought them, they got played. This is excellent, really great overall shape for one of these guitars. It's all there with the case. Oh, we love the flat poles. Let's go plug it in. I uh, got a cool deluxe reverb to plug it into today. Let's go hit the couch, see what this thing can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 1952 Fender Telecaster. Original butterscotch blonde finished with the black guard. We're just gonna go through the 65 reissue deluxe reverb again today, cause it's working. Let's start up on that neck pickup. Dark circuit removed. Let's move on <laughs> into the middle position. That's two, two pickups together. Let's uh, get the amp a little bit more juice here. If amp's on about five now. Let's see what we got here in the middle. flat pole all by itself yeah we'll give it one more number on the amp there too volumes on six let's see what we got on that flat pole there
<laughs> that pickup, man, from 1952. Original Fender Telecaster. Butterscotch blonde, black Bakelite pit guard, maple neck, flat pole piece pickup in the bridge. Oh, it's my favorite. This one won't be here long. That's why we had to do it today. Here's your one and only Telly Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram at, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at, at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. Tomorrow, the not-so-triumphant return Ooh. of Thumpin' Thursday. <laughs> I'll do my best. It's a cool bass. You guys will like it. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Guitar of the Day. Peace. Bye.